Welcome back. This is Mandolin, and this is the second part of the Fall Equinox message from the Oversoul of the Healers Collective. The first part was from Archangel Raphael, and if you haven't seen that, I invite you to go back and watch that one. This part is from Archangel Michael, and it came through as an oracle card pool. So sit back and I hope you enjoy the message. Michael, if you are part of Michael's Legion, Michael has asked me to pull three cards. I will put the photos up of the card. This was very impromptu and there's rain getting ready to pop off whenever it feels like it outside. So I had to do this on the fly. And I'm just shuffling, shuffling. Okay. All right. Michael, what do you have to say to us? I ask for the most appropriate and beneficial information to those that are tuned in. And I just give you gratitude beforehand, Michael, and I thank you for being there to guard and to guide in this journey. Ooh. All right, we have a card. Uh -huh. It says, shield yourself. And on these Archangel Michael cards, there is always a prayer. And the prayer at the bottom says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to generate. Or to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. If you are feeling, which I have felt some anxiety about some loved ones, and of course I've been traveling, call on Archangel Michael. We are not to live in anxiety. We are not to live in fear. Know that when you ask for the protection of the host of angels, if that's what is in the highest and the greatest good, that is exactly what will occur. So anytime you feel uneasy or a little scared, walk in the protection of Archangel Michael before you get wrapped up into a fear mentality. And he said three cards. So anyone out there, if you are enjoying this, this is something that's going to be part of my new offering that I'm going to be doing on another medium. I'm not going to use YouTube for it. Uh, and there will be three card pools from my Archangel Michael Oracle deck. I'll have to tell the story about acquiring this deck another time. Oops, he, he spit another one out. Your home is protected by angels. And the prayer at the bottom, Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. So somebody out there is feeling worried about their home, whether it be that you're one that's lost a job through all of this craziness, let's call it, so they don't strike my video or my channel, that's going on around us out there. And woo, I'm feeling the fire because Archangel Michael is fired up about this. Your home is your sanctuary. And no, that you can bring the guardian angels to your sanctuary and they will stay on guard and you never have to worry about them leaving unless you ask them to leave. If there are cataclysmic earth events going on around you and you feel the need to leave your home, know that where you go, you call that your home and call for the protection in that place. But no, that you are operating in a higher frequency. Those that are experiencing 3D are experiencing these 3D happenings as catastrophe, as death, as destruction, as fear. You are not 3D. So approach in the higher energies and stay in touch with Gaia, with Mother Earth, with Creator, and with your higher aspect. 
to gain the answers for your specific circumstance. Thank you, Michael. All right, card number three. This is the last one. Let's see what he's got for us on this one. Ooh, he's got me lit up, y'all. I can't even tell you. Ah, I do love Michael, though. I'm so grateful for Michael. He's been such a driving force in my life and my experience. Gratitude, Brother Michael. Okay, what do you got for us, Michael? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Okay. Pay attention to your dreams. I love that he brought this one out because when I was looking at my chart, listening to Molly McCord, of course, let me tell you, I saw my Chiron and Aries playing around with the current Chiron and Aries hopping back and forth. I saw my North Node, what I hope to achieve spiritually in this life. And, and as it applies to me in my incarnation, my North Node in Pisces lining up with the full moon. And then I saw Neptune down there going, hey, y'all watch this. <laughs> Neptune dreams. Um, pay attention to your dreams. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this, whatever it is you're wondering about, on a spiritual level and give me guidance. This is Archangel Michael saying that he is going to help you to attune to your higher frequency aspect and He's going to work through your dreams. He's going to work through your spiritual connection. You do have to invite him in though. And all of these things actually go together in a way that if you look and it says shield yourself. Number one, before you get ready to do energy work or anything like that, you need to protect yourself. Know what you're working with. And I'm not saying good versus evil. I'm saying know what energy you're pulling in because you have to know what energy you're trying to create to know what energy you need to pull in and you have to know what energy you already have to know what you need to pull in to create what it is you want to create you see how alchemy works thank you Raphael we appreciate that very much and you need for your home to be protected you need to feel secure in your sanctuary okay so that directly relates get yourself right get your space right and if you're going astral get that energy right make sure you understand what you're working with so okay guys i need to go out and ground thank you so much for joining i know this is a long one i may divide it up into two parts but give gratitude to mother earth give gratitude to creator give gratitude for all all that you are are pulling in and know that you have ascended, you have evolved. And now it's time to experience the joy of operating on that higher aspect as primary. We are in a different frequency than those you see around you. Live your frequency, not theirs. And Michael said to pull one more card. And this will be... A blessing card is that correct this will be a blessing card and he told me to shuffle it old school so that's what I'm gonna do is shuffle it old school he said like you playing poker top card new beginnings and a fresh start and I don't think it's really necessary, but I will read the prayer on the bottom. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. I can't add anything else, so... Happy Equinox and Happy Shift. I send you most of all truth 
unconditional love and gratitude for helping make this the experience of all lifetimes. Till next time, everybody. Namaste.